Hey guys, you're probably here because you're wondering how to travel in Frecha Rosa and what type of classes there are. I'm going to be telling you every single thing that you need to know to travel in Frecha Rosa here today in this video. First of all, I want to present myself. I am B, and this is B's Beauty. I invite you to subscribe if you like to. It supports my channel so much, but let's get right to it. Hey guys, okay, now that we are at Frecha Rosa, make sure to see that you have a red band on your train or else it's Frecha Bianca or any other Frecha, don't make that mistake, I have done that before. Now, you want to look up in the stations, you'll see a number, that's the wagon's number that you have to get in on your ticket, you'll find it and you'll find your seating and number seating, so make sure to check that out and make sure you have the right one. Now we travel in standard and we did a trip of seven hours from Milan to Bari which cost us a hundred euros per person and as you can see you have gel everywhere, uh, sanitizer gel, you also have different seating areas with a red little thing that you're not meant to sit up on because of COVID restrictions. You can see you have also a lot of space for your feet and two plugging chargers where you can just plug that computer, plug your uh, ear pods or whatever you may be charging on the side on your computer and I was charging also my uh, phone on the other side. You also have a little trash can as you can see but there's that staff always passing through to get that trash. You can see on the other side that you have a folding table in each place if you just want to lay down and basically just chill out. Now I'm going to take you to the bathroom out to show you what it looks like. It was really clean. The bathroom is very small, but obviously it does its purpose. It has some gel sanitizer, it has some soap, it has some drying, a washing of course, and yeah, very clean, very tidy. The whole train was really, really tidy and clean. You have staff passing through the whole time it actually helps a lot because they bring some snacks or they literally bring um, a free or included with the price they bring a bag with some plastic cups completely covered some sanitizers a new mask and some water which i really appreciated because a seven hour trip you know you are going to need some water eventually then you have a little haul for your luggage if it wasn't enough to put your luggage on top and we actually took four or five and it all fit in the hallway on top of our head basically so we didn't have to use that little hallway which is always good if you need to basically have a longer travel I want to tell you guys about the different classes you have to travel here and there's premium which is a good combination of comfort and value for money you have business comfortable and private perfect for business travelers and you have the executive, basically the highest liberal comfort for a unique travel experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You were able to get a little more knowledge before traveling Frecha Rosa. It was really comfortable overall. I didn't even notice. I actually went with a game on my computer and I was editing uh, for most of the time. So I didn't even realize once we got to Bari. It was actually a very comfortable ride, very easy. The leg space was good. If not, you can get up and walk around. It's just a good trip. I didn't mind it at all. I would definitely travel in Frecha Rosa but next time I'm not opposed to traveling on executive what can I say <laughs> I hope you guys like this video please subscribe down below it helps me out so much and I'll see you in the next one love you guys Mwah.